In Colorado, dozens of homes are destroyed and hundreds more and threatened this morning. There are at least four major wildfires in that state. One near Colorado Springs has forced thousands out of their homes. Kelly Worthman of our Denver station KCNC is there. Kelly, good morning. Good morning to you, Charlie and Nora. Behind me, you can see the smoke from this fire that continues to burn out of control this morning. Fire officials believe as many as 60 homes have been destroyed by this fire, and they do fear that number will grow. They also say about 8,000 acres have burned, and there is 0% containment this morning. The Black Forest fire started yesterday afternoon, and in just a few hours, many of Evacuees lost everything. House after house after house. The Black Forest Fire just northeast of Colorado Springs seemed to jump tall trees and concentrate its destruction on structures, turning this expensive estate into a mere skeleton in less than a half an hour. It's extremely hot out, it's windy, and that just fans the fire. And from 50 feet away with my window closed, I can feel the intensity of the heat through my glass. That gives you an idea how hot it is. Over 2,000 homes affecting more than 6,000 people were evacuated. Many had no time to save anything but themselves. I'm not sure if my house is lost. I just don't know. The fire spread rapidly as officials struggled to find workers to beat back the blaze. With a high wind like this, it is very difficult to get the resources into the air, and it's very hard for them to be effective. The challenge that we're facing right now is a lack of manpower when it comes to state and even some national resources. The Black Forest Fire is just one of four wildfires burning in Colorado this morning. Here outside Colorado Springs, aircraft were slow to arrive and ground crews had limited access to water. There are hydrants, they're very sporadic and that's why we're uh, bringing in a lot of water tanks. There's another fire burning just south of here, the Royal Gorge Fire. That forced an evacuation for one of the state prisons with nearly 1,600 inmates. Now, weather will likely play a key role in the fire fight today. It's a triple threat. They have strong winds, record-breaking heat, and low humidity. Plus, temperatures here are expected to hover near 100 degrees all week. Charlie and Nora. Kelly, thank you.